Hey guys, even here. So an interesting thought came to my mind and that's basically that Dexter Jackson is soon to become a bodybuilder that competes at the Mr. Olympia in four different decades. Dexter was born in 1625 and yeah, I'm just joking, probably a bad joke, but really he was born in 1969. And the first competition that he's ever done was in 1992 and he was 23 years old. If he started competing a little bit earlier, when he was a little bit younger, when he was 19 or 20, and if he actually competes in 2020, next year, he would be a bodybuilder that competes in five different decades. I mean, he can become that if he keeps competing for next 10 years and if he competes in 2030, but that's not very likely to happen. But, you know, we're not sure. Maybe. Maybe it happens. I wouldn't be too surprised. But look, he is qualified for the Mr. Olympia for life and he's in great shape right now. I expect him to do better this year at the Mr. Olympia than he did last year. I expect him to be in like top 5 and possibly higher, we'll see, depends on how sharp he comes and how much does he improve his legs, for example, and that asymmetry with his arms. But he's working hard and based on the guest posings, he does look improved. Anyways, Dexter is one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. No doubt about that. He won 28 pro shows, which is the record. He competed so many times, so many times, but his first competition, as I already said, was in 1992. He was 23 years old and this was an NPC show. He was lightweight and he took third place. He took a little break for three years and in 1995 he competed again at the NPC USA Championships and won. He actually won, he took the first place in a lightweight division. Next year, he competed at NPC Nationals, where he took 6th place, so he fell down a little bit. So he took a year off of competing, improved, came back in 1998 and won the North American Championships. He won the light heavyweight and the overall as well. In 1999, he went to Arnold Classic and uh, took 7th place. He also competed at the British Grand Prix, where he took 4th. Also, Knight of Champions, 3rd place and later the Mr. Olympia taking 9th. And this all happened in 1999. So this was 20 years ago, guys. 20 years ago. And every next year, he competed multiple times in a year. It will take me forever to mention them all, but I will mention Mr. Olympia and Arnold Classic. The year 2000, he took 5th place at the Arnold Classic and 9th place again at the Mr. Olympia. 2001, Arnold Classic 5th place again, but a jump at the Mr. Olympia to 8th place. 2002, Arnold Classic 3rd place, Mr. Olympia 3rd place. I don't know if you guys knew this, but in 2002 he was 3rd at the Mr. Olympia. In 2004 he took 3rd at the Arnold Classic, but 4th at the Mr. Olympia. In 2005 he did not do Mr. Olympia, he focused on Arnold Classic and he won it. He won it, he took 1st place and later in 2006 at the Mr. Olympia, so next year he skipped Arnold Classic, did only Mr. Olympia, he took 4th. In 2007 he competed at the Arnold Classic again, but took 2nd place. At the Mr. Olympia he was 3rd. And then 2008 came and you all know what happened then, he won the Mr. Olympia and also he won the Arnold Classic that year. In 2009 he actually took 3rd place at the Mr. Olympia, he skipped Arnold Classic, but next year, in 2010, he did Arnold Classic, took 4th. Mr. Olympia, 4th as well. 2011 Mr. Olympia, 6th place, so he fell back a little bit. I'm sure some people signed him off after that year. They thought he was finished, he was too old, but they were wrong. In 2012, he took 5th place at the Arnold Classic and improved the Mr. Olympia by taking 4th place. And then, next year, at the 2013, he won Arnold Classic again. So another victory, the second one in 2013. The Mr. Olympia, he was 5th. In 2014, he did only Mr. Olympia, but took only 5th place. In 2015, he won the Arnold Classic for the 3rd time. 3 time Arnold Classic winner. In 2015, he took 2nd place to Mr. Olympia. I'm sure you guys remember that, that was pretty recent. He was battling it with Phil Heath. Then in 2016, he was 3rd place. Very good 3rd place. In 2017, Again, only Mr. Olympia, 4th place. Last year, 2018 Arnold Classic, he was 2nd. He was 2nd place. But then at the Mr. Olympia, he slipped again and he was 7th. 
his worst placing since 2001. Today it is 2019 and he's preparing for his competition. It's gonna be Tampa Pro first and then Mr. Olympia. And I'm sure that he's gonna compete next year as well. And it is more likely to happen if he knows that that's gonna make him a Mr. Olympia contender that competed in four different decades. This is huge, guys. This is crazy. And as I have said already before many times, the door is wide open at the Mr. Olympia. Anybody can take it. Anybody, pretty much. And so can Dexter. If Dexter improves a little bit, comes sharp, comes sharper than the other guys, he can win the thing. He can do that. I wouldn't be too surprised. It's not very likely. Don't get me wrong. I don't think he is the favorite. He's definitely not the favorite. He's 49, soon to be 50. This year, two months after Mr. Olympia, he's turning 50. And that would make him a Mr. Olympia that is 50 years old. But only two months after he wins the title, actually. But imagine that happening. Him being 49 years old and winning the Mr. Olympia two times before he actually competes in his fourth decade. All in for all, Dexter Jackson is one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. He is one of the greatest Mr. Olympias of all time. And if all goes well, he is going to become the bodybuilder that competed at the Mr. Olympia in four different decades. Four different decades, guys. Anyways, this is gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like it. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.